Yourself. Let me let me go to the nurse and hello. Ah, I no, 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 I please, no, please. No, please. I have to go. Listen, listen. They will kill me. Ah, they will be looking for me. Nurse! Listen to me. No one is going to hurt you. I am here to protect you. You will not understand. Doctor! Please tell me because someone to come and see you. Okay, thank God, no, she's awake. Let me get the doctor. Okay, please, just call the doctor, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Listen. Ah. Listen. You, you'll be fine. Please. Okay. Ah. Ah. Just relax yourself. No, no. The doctor is calling, okay? I will not understand. Where are you ready? Doctor. How are you? Doctor. I want to go. I think I'm okay. It's just small, small headache. Don't worry, you'll go home as soon as you are good to go. But first, we need to get in touch with your family. So, what's your name, where are you from, and who are your parents? My name is Matilda. Are, are, you, sure, are you sure she's fit to talk? Yes, yes. So, uh, who, who are your parents? Uh, I live with Chief Rufus. Yes. Chief of us. Uh -huh. Yes. Wait, you mean Chief of us or of us group of companies? Uh -huh. you, 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 you know the chief? Yes. Who doesn't know Chief of us? He's one of the biggest dudes in this town. Wow. A big time politician and a good man. But wait, is he your father? Uh -huh. No. I'm just ordinary house helper. And I'm sure they must be looking everywhere for me. Oh. Doctor, please let me go. I'll be fine at home. It's okay. Uh, don't worry. I will put a call across to him. Okay? Oh, that would be so wonderful of you, Doctor. Thank you so much. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's okay. You'll be fine. I'm okay already. Sorry. No, it's okay. Don't worry. I don't fine. want to go home. Don't worry. Yeah. You'll go home, okay? Thank you. Nurse, come and get some injection. Okay. All right, thank you, Doctor. Mm -hmm. All right, nurse, thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh. You see, your name is Matilda. Oh. Just relax yourself. I am here to take care of you. When the doctor certifies that you're fine to go, you will leave. But for now, just relax yourself. And are you hungry? Just tell me if there's... Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Should I call the doctor? Oh. How oh. to go? You cannot leave now. Matilda, where are you? Since yesterday, God. God, please, protect her. Daddy Jill. Hello, 
Hello, Apostle. No, no, no. We've not heard from her. Oh. She will come. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Yes, I believe. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I know you will do it. Thank you. Oh. I like it. Oh my god. I can't wait to have this. Mm -hmm. Look at the stones. Oh, so nice. I ordered it already. You really? I'm just showing you to make it. How much like is it? it? <laughs> Google it. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Oh, this one would be good for that wedding. Exactly. Hi. My oh huh. my. <laughs> I can't wait to have this! Mama, I've done it for you to make it. Really? Yeah, I wanted to know if you like it. Why not? <laughs> I love it. Oh, just look at this one. Oh, oh, oh. This will be good for that wedding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have eyes for fashion. I just received a call from Dr. Phil. He said uh, Matilda has been admitted at the hospital. What? Yes, uh, according to him, she ran into a car. That stupid girl. She had wanted to kill herself so she could frame this family a bad one. She should kill herself for all I care. Please show me the list. Okay. And I need you to Google it so that we know the price. I'm going to the hospital immediately. Follow, follow. Start the time and do this and do that and cheer. Follow him. Come and see the angel of heaven. Good readings to back to Maybe when she comes back probably with one leg, one hand. Stitch me. One eye. One eye. <laughs> she will just keep calm and stop parading herself as the most beautiful girl in this house, attracting men for marriage. Please show me this thing. I'm interested in this. I Mommy, can... she can die in that hospital for all I care. I need to see the lace. Hmm. If I wear this one to that wedding, eh? Oh my God. Daddy, yes. I don't even know what's wrong with mommy and Olivia. Forget them. Forget them. And what should be uppermost in our minds now is the safety of uh, Matilda. I pray that uh, she's still alive. Oh yes, Daddy. I think she is. I I remember you telling me that Daddy Gio said that. She's fine. Oh yes, he said that. Um, he said it's a sign of good things. And, uh, it's all for good. Okay. That's fine, Dad. I just pray nothing bad happens to her. I pray so myself. Dad, I want to tell you something. Yes. When I grow up, I want to be like you. You have a very wonderful heart. Dad. Really? Yes. It's all right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. How? Nobody on this place. Be careful what you do. Heartless. Heartless. Why you be so heartless? Oh, yeah. Heartless. Thank God you are alive. We were so worried. 
We couldn't sleep all through the night. Daddy, I'm so sorry. As a matter of fact, we I had to report to the police. Hey. Yes, I went to the police station to report you missing. But the DPO advised that I should wait for another 24 hours before I come back. So, how are you feeling? I'm feeling better. Daddy, please, forgive me. I, I didn't mean to put you through all that. Look, you, you don't... Mommy. She's fine. Uh, Matilda, you, you don't need to be sorry, okay? It was an accident. It could have happened to anybody, all right? So it's actually my fault. And who are you? My name is Afonwa. I drove the car that knocked her down. Ah. The car that you ran into. Thank you. Thank you for bringing her here. So, um, um let's not forget, sir. Um, while my car knocked her down, I found this on her. Yes, sir. Give it to him. Okay. Oh, you are a nice person. Thank you, eh? You see, you are an honest person. So, have you had anything to eat? No, no. Well, in any case, Emmanuel, we will get to you, you prepare something, eh? All right. Uh, so that uh, we can bring for her. Okay, thank okay? you. Okay? In the meantime, mm. I would like to go and see the doctor. Mm. Okay. All right, thank, thank you, you Daddy. Please, uh, be well, mm -hmm. so that we can go home. Vanity, 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 vanity. It's our vanity. Oh, Matilda, I, I bought you some privileges. I mean, if you can take something here. The silver here, I can make you something to eat. Well, come here. What are you hiding and uh, where are you headed? What's in there? Vanity, 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 such as food and water for Auntie Matilda. I beg your pardon? My food and water? Mom, it's my own portion of food. So? I, I, I told you that. Dad instructed me to get food for her and you refused to dish out food for her mom so I had to transfer my own portion oh, of food here. Calm down. Let me get this. You want that stupid girl to eat while my son goes hungry. You know it can't work, right? It won't work. Mom, she, she needs the food. Mom, she has been in the hospital since yesterday. She needs to eat. I, according to the man that knocked her down, she just regained consciousness this morning. Do I care? Mommy, please. Do I look like I care? I don't give a hook if she starves to death in that hospital. Let me have the food. No, Mom, I'm not giving you anything. I know you've always hated her for no reason. Well. You just want her to die, but she's not going to die. I don't want to be mad with you. Give me that food. Mom, I am not... Give me that flat. Mom, it's my own portion of food. I am not... Saki! Come here! Mom, mom, please. Oh, 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 oh. Why you be so hard? Why you be so hard? I asked you to come and you are cat walking for me. Don't you know how to run? Mama, I've been trying to run. But you know, 
make sure he doesn't leave this house. If he does, you will be fired. Ha, madam, you see these gates? Nobody go past here, even rats. Don't go past this gate today. I'll go lock my gate. But mom, why, why are you doing this to mom? Uh, Zaki! Zaki! Give me that thing. Mom, honestly, please. Mom, honestly, I beg you. Get out of my sight. Mom, this is my own portion of food. I, I have the right to give it to anybody I want to, mom. Mom, 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 mom. Don't do it. you so much. I, I asked her to dish food for you that my dad instructed me. She refused. No problem. I, I took my own portion of food and I poured it in the food flask to bring for you. On my way coming here, my mother accosted me on the way and collected the food from me and asked Uncle Zaki to lock the gate that if he doesn't do it, she's going to sack him. Because of the fear, Uncle Zack locks the gate. And my mother collected the food flask and the table water I, I bought for you. And I poured it on the floor. What? It's okay. What? Just right in front of me. I, I just don't know what you did wrong to my mother. I, I just can't tell. It's okay. It's okay. I know you love me genuinely as a sister. I can feel it. I appreciate you. Genuine concern and love. But please, I'm keen about you too. Stop. I wouldn't want you to get into your mother's trouble because of me. Emma Benu. Please. And now that she threw away the food, what are you going to eat? Man shall not live by food alone. Um, what's your name? Um, my name is Emmanuel. I'm sorry to hear this ugly part of your family story, but it's okay. In regards to what should we eat, I don't want you to stress yourself. I'll go down the street and get you something from one of the eateries. It's okay. Auntie, I, I am truly sorry for everything. I'm sorry too. You're going to be fine, okay? And I want you to know that I'll always stand right here beside you. Thank you. Mm. 
No. Auntie. I need to speak with Auntie Maureen. Please call her for me. Why do you want to talk to her? I just want her to know my whereabouts. She might be worried about me. You never can tell. Yeah, um, that's true. Uh, Alright. Do you have a number? Of course I do. Okay, please dial it. Yeah. Oh, he's ringing. Hello? 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 Who is this place? Auntie Maureen is me, Matilda. Oh, Matilda. Is that really you? I hope you're fine. Mm -hmm. There's a problem, but I'm getting better. I had an accident. You had an accident? Yes. I, I hope it's not serious. I'm getting better. The doctor said it's just a minor shock, but I'm still at the hospital. Okay, okay. So, which hospital are you? Havana Hospital. I'm calling you with Noel's phone. Havana Hospital. It's alright. I, I will come and see you there, okay? It's alright, Auntie. How is Thelma? Uh, please, just take good care of yourself. Send my regards, Auntie. I will be fine. Thank you, Ma. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. All right, bye. How does it feel to live the way you do? You had the world around you. What does it pay to be the way you are? You kill. The joy around you Vanity Such a vanity Infidelity Is such a vanity Until tomorrow Thelma Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. So how are you doing? To the glory of God, I'm recovering. Good. I'm getting better. The doctor said it was just a minor accident. No bruises. No internal bleeding. Mm. It was just shock and you know, body mm. ache, headache, mm. severe headache. Sorry, huh? Mm -hmm. What about the Noel who used his phone to call me? He has gone back to the house. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Auntie Maureen, mm -hmm. everything happened within the twinkle of an eye. I didn't even know. I was just singing. All of a sudden, I got carried away and I ran into a car. But God may have it. I, I just, I just entered like that without looking. And the, the driver knocked me down. Hey. Well, good a thing. He's a good man. He's even the one that rushed me to the hospital. You know, some people will just hit you like that um, and run away. Yes. Especially when it's your fault. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, okay, but mad. Hey. Matilda, I can see you're getting better. But, Matilda, how could you have crossed the road without watching? Huh? I was carried away. I was singing and I... Matilda, 
You mean you had an accident just because you were singing? Yes. Huh? No, not just because I was singing, but because I did not look well before crossing the road. Matilda, are you sure? It's okay, it's okay. Thank God she's getting better. Thank you, Madam, for coming. And you're welcome. Have you eaten? Have you taken anything at all? I'm okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You will join this one. Let me make it easier for you. Uh, you brought food for me. Uh, it's just a uh, small provision. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Mommy, I think Matinda did not tell us exactly what happened. My instinct tells me she's hiding something from us. Why do you say so? Mommy, you know your friend. I know how heartless she can be. I feel they are subjecting that lady to emotional torture. And she really needs help. We need to help her. So what do you suggest we do? Mommy, let's bring her here. Let her come and stay with us. Maybe we can enroll her in one of the universities. That's exactly where the problem lies. Your brothers are already studying abroad. And you're already in the university here. Mommy, we can do something now. But the only thing we can do for her now is to help her acquire any skill of her choice. Yes. Mommy, I think that lady is too intelligent to go for skill acquisition. I feel the best thing for us to do for her is to enroll her in one of the universities. Vanity, 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 such a vanity. It's our vanity. Mommy, let me see something now, please. We really need to help her. Don't worry, I will think about it. Let me see what I can do for her. Yeah. Hey, Mommy. Mom, I'm tired. I need to go upstairs. to study you. I know the things you want to say even when you've not said them. I want to ask you a question. Am I free to love you? Mm-hmm. I don't even understand your question. 
Ha! No, please. You are not free to love me, please. This would come up somewhere. I know you'll be wondering why I'm saying this. Because probably you weren't expecting this from me, but after this true, and I know my heart is not deceiving me. Matilda, I fell in love with you from the very first I saw you. Oh. <sighs> hey, see, even if it's true, even if you genuinely loves me, my madam will not allow that to happen. She would rather kill me. I'm just I'm just a common house help. Ha. Huh. Don't let this bother you. You're beginning to overthink the whole thing. Just say yes to my proposal and watch me handle the whole situation. I promise you by the time we get to the bridge, we will cross it. Please, just be the mother of my unborn kids. I beg you. But hold on. See? I... I don't even understand this. You're tall. You're cute. Educated. Rich. Why would you want to settle with a low life like me? An orphan. A common house help. Or you just want to take advantage of me, right? No, I know, but no. I won't let you do that with no, me. No, listen up, please. You just please. want to deceive me, Matilda, sleep with me. Matilda, listen up. I am not that kind of man. I am not in your life to take advantage of you. I meant well for the both of us. Can't you see? I, I, I love you. Vanity. Such a vanity. Oh, 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 oh. Um, young man, I really want to thank you for taking responsibility for your actions. Right? Um, if it were some persons, they would have done hit her wrong. But you stayed back and ensured that uh, she was safe. Okay? Thank you so much, sir. I I honestly appreciate this. Well, you already know my house, so feel free to come anytime. time. Sure, I, I will do my best to check on the people from time to time. So, uh, hi, precious evening, ma. Oh. Matilda. Matilda. So you can see more, okay? Yeah, um, it's okay. Um, Noel. Uncle. I have to leave, okay? It's fine. Take care of yourself. It's fine. Chief, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Take care. Take care of you. Thank you very much. Can you see how stupid you are? Hmm? This is how you keep embarrassing yourself before visitors. You behave like a stuck illiterate. Like someone who has not seen the four walls of school. Are you just noticing it? No, 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 wait. Have you forgotten? I didn't go to school. I'm an illiterate. Affirmative, yes. Good. I agree. Good. It is good that you've confirmed that you are a stuck illiterate. Therefore, anytime I have visitors in this house, Stay upstairs, remain in your room, instead of coming here to embarrass yourself. Oh, 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 have you forgotten where illiterate stays? Where? Market! 
good. So you go to the market anytime I have visitors. He is my market. Yes, this sitting is my market. Why am I even listening? From the way you're talking, oh, my friend, you are just a demented fool. A mad dog. Let me be. Let me be. Look, be careful. You be, be careful in this house. Be careful. I will deal with you if you don't take care. Oh, oh my word. I'm scared. I am scared. Now I understand every complaint Noah was making at the hospital regarding his mom. But it's okay, I want you to just know that you'll be fine. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you for me. One more thing. I would appreciate if you keep everything we've discussed to yourself. I don't want you to discuss with another person. I will. I'll be going to the village tomorrow to meet my parents. I'll go and tell them that I've found a wife. And I'm sure they'll be glad to hear that their only son is getting married to you. out there with that man? Mommy, that's the man that almost ran over me with his car. That's not the question. Answer me. I was thanking him. I was appreciating him for everything. For what? For knocking your stupid body down? Look at her, mom. She's so senseless. Go to the kitchen and make dinner. Mom. What? Mom, she, she, she was just showing appreciation to the young man. Will you keep quiet? You bonehead. Mom wasn't talking to you. Mm-hmm. Now go to the kitchen and make dinner. Quick. Mom, what's going on? She's just returning from the hospital. What is your business? What? Okay, no problem. Dad must hear this. If Dad hears this, I will have your mom chopped off. Daddy! No. Basu! Mommy, I think she wants to bring another suitor to this house. Now you go to the kitchen and start making dinner. Stop looking at me like that. Mommy, mommy, please. The doctor said I'm not fit to, to cook or for stress, please. Oh, really? I forgot. Sorry. Let me tell you. Just keep quiet. Do you want me to show you how to be fit? Come on, let me come to the kitchen, you XO. Look at her. Mom, no sense. Mommy, are you sure she's not trying to bring another suitor to this house? Not under my watch. This woman. This woman. What is wrong with you? Huh? Where have you decided to sell your soul to the devil? Yes, you are this weekend. I don't understand. Why have you decided to sell your soul to the devil? What kind of useless woman is this? Matilda! Matilda! Come here! What's your problem? God will punish you for this thing you're doing. Idiot! No, come here. Are you alright? Look! Yes? Is that you going to show up? Yes. Now the doctor says you should rest. 
So you go to your room now and rest. Don't do anything in this house. Daddy, mommy will beat me. Would you just keep quiet? I said go and rest. Now! Thank you, Daddy. And you only You go to the kitchen and prepare dinner now. No, oh, please, Dad. I'm not ready to enter the kitchen. I just made my nails. Olivia! You're talking to me like that! Hey! Daddy! What is that? This woman, what is it? What is it? You will. Seriously, you should take it easy with yourself. Do you know my dear? I'm somewhere. On a very good day, I'm sure she will come back to this place. I don't know where my daughter is. Diola, will I ever see you again? You will. Just calm down. You get yourself worked if you continue this way. You are already losing some weight, and your subjects will soon start talking. Hmm. I want to see my daughter. I want to see Diola. Please calm down. She might be somewhere. But where she is right now, we do not even know. But I know God will bring her back to this palace. God. Please. Hi. God. Please. I want to see my daughter Diola. Please. I, I want to see her again. Nothing's gonna last forever. Nobody will stay on top forever. Be mindful of what you do today. Cause tomorrow is not sure. We don't even know what comes next. What's wrong with you? Why are you clutching your stomach? Um, Dad, I'm hungry. <laughs> You're hungry? Uh, okay, go upstairs. Huh? Go to my room. Get bread and uh, butter from my fridge. Huh? All right. Okay. Thank you, Dad. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And Imano. Get some for Matilda also, so that she can take her drugs, okay? Oh, that's true. You're not even sure. So make it feel good. Make it do good. Make it do the right thing. Oh, feel good. Make you do good, oh, 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 make you do the right So finally you found that. Man, I'm the happiest man in the whole wide world. Tell you straight in all the way. You can say that again, man. I'm telling you. you. See, it's been a very long time I've been praying and asking God to send me someone that I would go this journey with. Someone I'm gonna spend my entire life with. I said, God heard my prayers. I said, okay, son, I'm taking your calls. I'm sending you an angel. <laughs> and God just sent me this angel like never before. Wow, baby, this is good. She's so good. She's so good. He's written on the Bible. Oh, man. Contact level in me. I'm dead. Serious in me. It's the one who you don't mean me gonna have my troubles on the echo. This one is quite different. Oh, no, go! You are the true son of your father. When you're talking about this girl, it's as if you're talking about the normal girls you know. This girl is not just the normal girls you know. This is an angel I'm talking about here. This woman is quite different from any other woman you think or you might be, well, might be coming to your mind. So my man, don't be carried away by her beauty. Beauty, they say, is in the eyes of the beholder. So, you really need to learn a lot of things about women. You get? Get you. 
Whoa, 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 what, what do you know you're saying? No, 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 I know, I know beauty. No, I know what Wait, I'm saying. Wait, what do you know that you're saying? Dave, let me tell you something. This girl is an angel and her service is That girl is so special. There's something about this girl that, that you don't understand. This girl's energy is quite different. Her aura, her personality. And man, bro, I don't think I'm making the wrong choice here, man. Well, I'm happy for you. But I know your parent must be very, very happy once they hear this movie. Oh, sure. They will be very happy once they hear this movie. Too. Well, I intend going to the village tomorrow to oppose the kingdom to break the news. And I'm sure they'll be so glad to hear this great news from me. Oh, wow, wow, wow. This yeah. is serious. Man, I need to see this day. I can't wait for my parents Ooh. to hear this gist. <laughs> you know, eh, there's something I've not told you before. Prior to this moment, my parents had wanted me to get married a long time ago. Uh, they wanted me to start giving them grandchildren, you know, those kind of desire yeah, parents. Yeah, yeah. But eventually, things go the way they thought it would. But today, I've got the news that will gladden your heart, and I can't wait to take it from there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, uh, well, um, she's a Yoruba girl. What? Yeah. See, the truth of the is, tribe don't really matter here. This is not about tribe. No. Most important thing is, we love each other. That's what we love most. No, my brother. Tribe matters. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. You of all people should know that tribe matters. Oh, forget that thing, man. This is 21st century. We're talking about tribe here. Tribe does not matter. We love each other. She loves me. I love her. You know, we, we've chosen each other above any other thing. Listen, if you know what is good for you, you and that girl should end whatever feelings you have for each other. Now that you have not gone deep, I know what I'm talking about. Yes, you and I know your parents. You know where we're coming from. Listen, so tribe matters a lot. I should, I should end whatever I've just started. What do you know you're talking about here? Listen. We have gone beyond the oceans, the shores of the seas. We have gone deeper than the ocean itself. There is no going back. As a matter of fact, we put in separate. Just understand that. David, let me tell you something. Looking at this call, you think there's anything in this call right now? This call is so empty. There's no vacancy to think anything. There's no going back on this one. Come and tell me that kind of thing. You have you been able to find true love? If finding love is easy, go and find true love. You're telling me that. How can God send me something from heaven and you expect me to take it back? Give it to who? Make you do good. Oh, this is serious. Oh, you right better, man. It's alright, though. George Arbasa. George Arbasa, I'll come on Arbasa over an IPF. Who got you? Who got you? Who dismiss us? So, what's up? We move straight to. Okay. Um, I'll call Sonic to tell him uh, to catch up with him later then. Okay. It's alright, so oh, okay. Oh. Greetings, Your Majesty. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I'm just coming from the construction site. Your Majesty, you look disturbed. What bothers you? That's the situation. You will be fine. That I know. I just hope so, my friend. Life has not been so fair to me. Really? Even as a king? My friend. Engineer. I am going down gradually by the day. Go, go, go. 
Your Majesty, God forbid. Don't use your mouth to, to, to call bad things for yourself. Something bothers me so much. What is it? I don't just know how to tell my story. Is it that serious, Your Majesty? I wish I had the time to tell you my tales of <laughs> Your Majesty, no matter the situation, it's not worth dying for. So you just have to take it easy on yourself. All I know is that God is going to step into your matters. That I know. Nobody do pass on. So make you do good. Do good. Daddy, please. I don't want mommy to go. I don't know what people will say. If they hear that you asked your wife to go because of a poor orphan like me, please let me go. I met you people in peace. I want to leave you people in peace. I don't want to go inside again. Let me just go for here, please. Now, will you, will you just keep quiet? You are a member of this family. You are my daughter. She's not even worth being your mother, so don't even call her mommy. What is it? Mommy, mommy, mommy. Now get inside. Daddy, please. Daddy, please. Mommy, please. Are you going to get inside or you want me to carry you inside? 